Hey, I'm Tyler. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we're talking about hard shells versus soft toppers. Right, a camper shell, truck shell, whatever you like to call it, versus the uh, popular soft topper. I've had both. We're going to the pros and cons and try and help you decide which one you should buy. So let's jump right into it. First thing we're looking at here is price. Now, for a soft topper or a best top, 800, 900 bucks is about as much as you're going to pay for them brand new. For a hard shell, I mean contractor shell, fiberglass, aluminum, there's a lot of different ones. But it's always, almost always going to be over a grand for basic ones. And most of your fiberglass ones tend to run two to three grand. They can be a lot more expensive. But the used market, truck shells start to get a lot cheaper. You can see good working shells, sometimes as low as three or four hundred bucks, or shells that just need a little rehab for less than that. There are also plenty of used shells that are still in the 800, 900, 1000, 1500, especially if you have a later model year truck. The new year truck, uh, probably the more expensive your used options are going to be. For older vehicles, like my Tundra, the price of a fiberglass shell starts to approach the new or even sometimes the used price of a soft topper. Security. So security is one of the biggest things behind buying a truck shell, in my opinion. Most fiberglass shells are lockable. If you keep stuff in your bed, you want it to be secure and be out of sight. And so having a lockable hard shell is a pro for many people, whereas the soft topper, not really secure. It keeps stuff out of sight, but it doesn't lock. You might have a locking tailgate, which is nice, but it's never going to be the same as a hard shell. Flexibility. The big thing with a soft topper is if you need your truck to do truck stuff, especially like if you're someone who hauls mountain bikes or dirt bikes in your truck bed often, or if you use it for work, towing a fifth wheel, a soft topper is a lot more flexible to work around in your truck bed space than a fiberglass shell. Fiberglass shells can be a pain to store, remove, um, unless you have some kind of system. Usually it's more than a one person job to remove a hard shell. Soft topper, I have videos on it. They fold down super easy all removable by one person and they're compact when you store them you can break them down a lot or you can just fold it forward in the bed a lot more flexible in terms of what can you use your truck bed to do uh, one thing that's kind of big is space so a soft topper looks like it's as big as a shell but it isn't the mounting hardware in the soft topper like sticks inside the bed rail it takes up space so do the bars that are overhead it all takes up space it kind of sucks in. You don't get as much room even as you do with a cab height shell. With the cab height shell, you're going to have a platform like on the bed rails and then from the very outside of the bed rails, it's going to slope up all the way to the cab. Whereas on the soft topper, you don't even have space at the bed rails. It's everything's inside of the bed rails. So you gain a little bit more space with the hard shell. Also, hard shells can be bought in higher than cab height sizes, something you can't get with a soft topper. You can get mid-rise, a high-rise shell. You can get significantly more headroom and even horizontal space by going with a hard shell. And I feel like that's something not many people talk about. Waterproof. Waterproofing, most people think that the hard shell is going to be a lot more waterproof than a soft topper. In my experience, a soft topper is actually pretty waterproof. You add some seam sealer, you get one that's made for your model, your vehicle, the water falls off along the bed sides, and you're only going to see little drips uh, in seams or in just tiny little corners where they aren't quite covered. Hard shells can also have waterproofing issues. There's plenty of places for it to get in, especially depending on the type of windows you have, uh, your third brake light, or if the weather stripping on the underside of the truck isn't very good. Uh, older shells will tend to have more water issues once they get old, seals crack, stuff like that. Accessories. So the soft topper doesn't really have a lot of accessories. You can't really you can kind of accessorize it. There's different kinds of windows. You can pop a tent off of it, but it's not accessorizable the way a hard shell is. Hard shells, generally, the big one is that they have roof rails sometimes, or you can drill in a roof rack to it. Also, in terms of working with the interior space, the fiberglass, generally, you're going to be able to screw into it or add attachment points the way you would with a soft topper. With a soft topper, you do have those crossbars that you can kind of hang stuff from, but a hard shell, I feel like overall, it's more customizable. You can add on to it. The roof rails are a big thing. If you want to carry stuff above your shell, easy, put in a roof rack. If you want to do it with a soft topper, you need a custom, or if you're lucky enough, someone makes one, you need a bed rack from a company that goes over and around the soft topper to carry stuff. And at that point, you're probably in it as deep as it would be to get a hard shell for your vehicle. And I have a tough time, if you have the bed rack on, 
and you're probably not ever folding the soft topper down, you're not really removing it. At that point, I feel like the hard shell is the right choice, which is how I ended up with the hard shell. Complexity. So here's the thing with the soft topper, when you wanna open the back, it's as many as four steps. You take the Velcro off, you undo the bars, undo the zippers, and then roll it up and put it on the top. It can be as little as like two steps if you just do zippers, bar, and toss it up. There's more moving parts in the soft topper, there's more that can fail, and there's more to keep track of. Straps to hold it down, the clamps on the bars, the zippers, the Velcro, clasps, all of it. It has more moving parts. It's a more complex system. And generally, more complex systems take more maintenance and more attention, and they have more that can break. A hard shell, in good condition, really isn't gonna take any maintenance. There's not as many moving parts. Fiberglass, all you really have to worry about is the windows, one or two latches, and the fiberglass. Clamp it to the bed and you're good to go. There's not a lot to adjust or tweak um, or attach even. Whereas the soft topper, attaching it to the bed, both in the front and the back of the bed, Velcro or screw, it's, it's more complicated. Durability. Now this is gonna depend partly on your use case. There's plenty of beat up shells that are on their last leg. And so if you're looking at used shell versus a new soft topper, the durability might be a wash for you. I know that a soft topper probably isn't gonna hold up as long as fiberglass or aluminum. It's just not, but it depends on how you treat them. In my mind, you should know going into it how you're gonna treat it and base your decision off of that. But Fiberglass is going to be more durable. Replacement parts. Soft topper is really nice about the replacement parts. You can buy just about any individual part down to a screw from them um, one at a time. One part at a time, one order at a time. If you break anything on your soft topper, you should be able to replace it with the smallest available, cheapest part of the system. Breaking one part of your soft topper does not mean you need to rebuy the entire system. Shells are more complicated. Depending on what you break, you may have a tough time getting replacement parts. Older shells may also have even more difficulty getting replacement parts. If you break a window or you have a window missing on your shell, that's a more complicated process than breaking basically any part of a soft topper. Breaking shells is definitely more costly, but I feel like it's probably gonna happen less often. You don't need the replacement parts as often on a shell as you would on a soft topper, in my opinion. Looks. The soft topper, there's an aesthetic for the soft topper. On my truck, on my older Tundra, I actually really like the look. I like it at least as good as I like the look of a hard shell. There's kind of a campy, military, vintage uh, aesthetic that comes with the soft topper. I'm a fan of it. It looks a little bit weirder on newer vehicles, though. I do think it works better on older vehicles. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. The thing with the soft topper is you only get three color choices. You get a gray, a black, and a tan. There's not a lot to choose from. There are vehicles where maybe none of those are gonna look good. Whereas a hard shell, color match your truck most of the time, or in my case, I got a gray on silver, which actually kind of looks good, a little bit of pleasing contrast. Shells are definitely, there's more colors, more flexibility, and the looks are kind of, you know what you're getting. You know a hard shell's going to look fine. Maybe a little grandpa-y, but it's going to look like it belongs in the truck no matter what truck you put on. Soft toppers, I really like the look. I kind of miss the look on mine now that I've got a hard shell, but it's not for everyone. Lastly, the driving experience. I don't think this is a deal breaker, but I do think the driving experience with a soft topper is not as good. The soft topper, when you get going super fast, the sides suck in. And so the first time you see that, you're like, what's going on? Like the canvas, I'm seriously, it sucks in. You can see the outlines of the frame as you're driving. It's totally fine and safe. Like I've done it, I don't know, up to 90 miles an hour now, multiple times. It's totally safe, but it doesn't look good. It doesn't, it doesn't inspire safety. It doesn't inspire confidence in the vehicle and the soft topper. And in the wind, it will wiggle. Now, I mean, the entire truck, when it gets windy, like everything's wiggling. The mirror's wiggling, the truck's wiggling, like I get it, but it moves. A hard shell doesn't really move. It, it inspires confidence. It just sits on the back of the truck bed, totally good. The other thing with drivability is generally the visibility that you have with the shell is better than that with the soft top. You have the side windows that you can look out of um, through your rear view mirror, looking out through the side windows. The back window tends to stay a little bit cleaner. The 
front window of the shell, like the window nearest to the cab tends to stay cleaner, your visibility overall is better. It also means that they're not tinted, that people can see more of what's inside the shell. So generally you tint your shell, but I think the visibility and driving experience is better. So that's my review. That's my comparison. Let me know what you guys think. I've had both. I ultimately like the hard shell because it's simple. It always works and it's a great value. And being able to haul stuff over the shell, just plug and play, I think that's super valuable. And it's something that I've chosen to invest in early because I think it's something I'll do down the road. Let me know what you guys think and thanks so much for watching.